Welcome to Creative Cooking. Today we're going to make this delicious pork scallopini with a very special side dish that I think you're really going to like. All right. Um, yeah, like anything else, we have to go missing plus and we have to do the beans first. So we're going to dice a small onion. All right. Just a small white or red onion, yellow onion. Two cloves of garlic are going to go in a separate dish. And we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil to that. And then we're going to throw it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. And that's just to infuse the oil. Then you want to take a non-stick pan. It's very important that it's non-stick with some extra virgin olive oil and saute the onions, all right? Some people would probably put garlic in this, but I'm afraid that the garlic will burn because of the way we're gonna cook this. And this is why we just do an infusion at the end. But you wanna saute these till they're translucent and then add the beans. They're cannellini beans, they've been rinsed and drained because we want to remove the excess starch and we actually want the beans to dry out a little bit and stay loose in the pan so without stirring if you can flip flip if not just don't overwork the beans season them with salt and pepper and continue to saute them until they start to develop a sort of brown tinge on them not burned but just browned somewhat on some of the edges of the beans and that's when they're ready. Once you get to that point, you just put some of that seasoned oil in there because you're always gonna finish with a little more olive oil. These beans are like a sponge. They absorb everything. And you're gonna finish with Italian parsley. And then once again, give it a mix. So the parsley is mixed in real nice. And then set everything aside. Those beans will stay warm because the scallopini comes together very, very quickly. And this is why you do that first. This is a pork tenderloin, and I'm going to cut medallions about one and a half inches thick. One inch to one and a half inches thick, thereabouts. We're going to be flattening them out. And this recipe is being made for two, for two people. So three medallions would be a normal serving for pork, uh, pork tenderloin or something like this. But of course, we're going to flatten them out because we are making a scallopini. So using your hammer or whatever it is that you use, be gentle because this meat is very tender. So you don't want to use a heavy hand while you're doing this, okay? And then we just season them with some salt and pepper. I got some kosher salt here and some fresh ground black pepper. And when I do these, especially when it's thin like this, you don't want to go too heavy, but I'll still flip them over and do it again. I'll do a very light seasoning of salt and pepper. Now, do you see all the salt and pepper that's on that board over there? Well, I'm gonna deal with that by just rolling these things around. Okay, I'm just gonna bunch them up, roll it around the, the, the bench and, um, you know, <laughs> just to clean it up because waste not, want not. All right, so we're gonna pick up that excess stuff. All right. And then of course, the next step is gonna be to dredge them in flour. And there's a twofold reason for dredging them in flour. Okay, one is that you create a coating on the outside of the meat, whether it's chicken or pork or whatever you're using. And the second is that the flour that is on there will actually contribute to thickening the sauce, the pan sauce that we're gonna make, okay? So just dredge them lightly and shake off the excess because you don't need the excess. And hopefully you will have done this in advance, which is chop up some green onions. I have four Decent sized green onions. I'm gonna use the white and some of the green parts. All right. So I just, I do this by eyeball, by the way. I don't really measure. So once again, we're gonna use a stainless steel pan this time with some olive oil. And there's a good reason for using stainless. Best for making pan sauces. And what we wanna do with these scallopini is we wanna brown them. I can't say it was a minute per side or two minutes. Basically, when you're cooking like this, you just look and see if they're browned. If they are, flip them over, because they're very thin, they will cook through. So by the time that second side has been browned, the pork is fully cooked, but still juicy. We're gonna remove that to a plate, and then immediately toss in the green onions. Now, you don't have to saute these onions, because they cook very quickly on their own. They'll cook in the sauce. We don't want to burn that fond on the bottom. So we will immediately deglaze that pan with balsamic vinegar. As you know, balsamic vinegar is a sweet vinegar. And a lot of times we use it to make reductions that almost have a syrup consistency. 
We're not going to take it to that level. We're going to reduce it a little bit, but we don't have to reduce it a lot because we still have the flour on the pork scallopini itself. All right. But what we do want to do is we want to scrape up the fond off the bottom of the pan. Those are those crystallized juices that, you know, didn't quite get burned, but they're crystallized. That's what we call it. It's called a fond. And that will come clean. See how clean that pan is? You won't have to scrub that pan too hard. And then you just return the scallopini to the pan. And that's basically to warm it up, warm the pieces back up. And at the same time, some of that flour that was on the outside of the scallopini will then contribute to the thickness of the sauce. And that's a technique that you would use for any type of scallopini, whether you're doing it with chicken or pork, in this case, uh, pork tenderloin, which is very tender. Um, and it's just awesome. And there are those beans. Now, I got to tell you something about these beans. They'll go with anything. And once you try making beans this way, I'm sure you're going to add that to your arsenal of side dishes when you get sick and tired of potatoes or sick and tired of rice. So this is a wonderful dish. Uh, it's a different twist on scallopini, but it's very tangy. It's very sweet and it's very delicious. So just pour some sauce over that and serve it while it's still nice and warm. So I hope you give this recipe a try. And I hope that you come back each week for more great videos made for people who like to cook. Until then, bon appetit.